Hey guys, how you doing? Um, we're making dinner again. We're here in the kitchen. Always have to eat dinner. So, what I did was I sent out an SOS. And guys, I know you're wondering, what's an SOS? What is it? It's a specialist of sides. So there you go. <laughs> so, guys, follow us along. We'll see you over at the stove. All right, so today we're going to be making a side of mushrooms and wild rice. So here I've already got my mushrooms. These are portobellas. They weren't pre-sliced, I sliced them, but you can get pre-sliced. Are then, they the babies or the big ones? The babies. Baby portobellos. Yep. And then I have my long grain wild rice packet. You can... Oh, Carolina. You can go natural if you want and then put your own seasonings, but in the real world, package in the pot. Okay? So first things first is you want to grab about a tablespoon of butter. Okay. Maybe, let's go three-fourths of a tablespoon, okay? We're gonna get it melted, and then we're going to put our mushrooms in there. Now, the reason why I put the mushrooms in first and then the rice is to kind of caramelize and toast off your mushrooms. So, just waiting on the butter. Doesn't that also get rid of some of the moisture, moisture? before mm -hmm. you put it in with the rice to help calculate the the water or broth that you use right. to make rice. Because you don't want mushy, mushy rice unless you're making risotto and we're not making risotto. We are not. No. All right. So there we go. Our butter is ready. All right. So here we go. We're going into said pan. Yeah. And this is about a half a pack of the small sized mushroom pack. About eight ounces. I think it's an eight ounce pack. So half a pound. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get those sauteed down, and then we'll be back with you in a few. All right. So what do we got? Okay, so we've cooked out most of the moisture from our mushrooms, and since we have what's left of what the butter is that we put in there, it's frying off the edges of it, or the bottom, and this is the caramelization slash sauteing that I was talking about. Flavor. Exactly. This brings out the flavor of the mushroom. So. You can use whatever kind of mushrooms you like if you have a preference of button mushrooms or large portobellas, shiitake, if you want I to. I like shiitake. Yeah. My preference is baby portobellas. They're my favorite. Yeah, I like the earthiness of them. Yep. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll, uh, I'll stuff a mean button mushroom. Oh, yeah. I, I like stuffed buttons. Oh, yeah. Alright, so you can maybe see, I don't know, but that mushroom right there has some good color to it. See if we can get another uh, one up for you. Uh, we're, we're, I mean, we're all froggy. Oh, man. Alright. A couple more minutes on these mushrooms, and then we'll be ready to go with our rice. So let's talk about our rice for a minute. This is long grain, wild rice with seasoning. You always want to go by the directions on your package. This particular one, it says uh, bring the water to and bring a one and three fourths cup of water and a tablespoon of olive oil to a boil in a medium saucepan, then stir in the rice. Cover, reduce heat to a simmer 20 minutes with fluffy uh, and with fluffy rice and serve. Okay. So, should we take the mushrooms out, boil the water, or 
Can we just get away with cranking at the high and going yeah. from there? Yeah, totally do that. The mushrooms are almost exactly where I want them. So can we start gradually adding water to bring the temperature up or do we want to put it? That's going to stop the caramelization of your mushrooms though. Okay. Good point. I, I like caramel. See that one? That's a nice one right there. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Can you get that out of there so we can see it? No, I don't think I can. Oh, oh she got it. Oh, yeah, that's a beaut right there, Clark. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good now. Yep. We'll slowly add our water. Alright, here we go. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. And at this point, you want to crank it to high. Yep. I had it on medium. Medium high, medium high, right? Medium high a minute ago. Now, mind you, there are directions, and you can, like, stray from them, can't you? You can. You know, I, I... And this is one of the things. If you gradually add the water, you can see how it's starting to bubble, which means the whole thing's heating up. And there you go, you got a nice bubble going. And if you leave your mushrooms a little below what you want them to be cooked, then you should be fine. Because it'll, it, it will really ramp up quick because you already have a hot pan. Probably just dribble, dribble, dribble. Side note, if you don't want to use water and you want extra flavor, you could use stock, chicken stock, beef stock, pork stock, but I don't recommend it because when you're doing the prepackaged stuff, it has all those flavorings and seasonings in there. Yes. So you really don't need it. But it, if you were going to be doing this like organic, getting you know the the non-prepackaged stuff. Just I, the I basic was going to rice. say like the raw material. I guess yep. you could say. Yeah. Then you would want to, you know, add some more seasoning to it that isn't in the bag. We're gonna add all this. Right, we're gonna get our packages open and ready to go. Yep. And I'm doing two packs, so I doubled the water that it told me to. Yeah, what was it? Um, one and three quarter cups, so we're going to end up with three and a half. So. That's what it, that's what it looks like in there. Hmm. You can see the rice and all that seasoning in there. That's why you don't want to go overboard with adding stuff, you know. Wait till you taste it and always do stuff to taste. Yes. That's what I say. Alright, so it wanted me to add a little bit of butter. So I'm going to pop a... No, it wanted me to add olive oil. I'm not adding olive oil because I have butter and I'd rather have butter. Oh yeah, butter is wonderful. Yep. I could probably get away with not even adding that pat of butter, but whatever. So once that butter melts, that'll probably be about when we put our packets in, right? Yeah. Once this water starts boiling. Now I will tell you, I like long grain rice. Oh, wow, it's amazing. Long grain rice is phenomenal. It takes more water or broth than what white rice does, because white rice is more starchy? Yeah, well, that's a one-to-one, -one, right? No. One cup rice, one cup water? No. One cup rice, two cups water. So this... Alright, so we're boiling. Go ahead. So this is less than regular white rice. I suppose.
All right, we'll give it a quick stir. And there we are, we brought it to a boil. And we're gonna bring it down to low, or just right above low. We're gonna put our lid on, and we're gonna let that simmer for 20 minutes. Now, does it matter if you're doing one, two, three packs? It does or? not, no. But you do wanna check on your stuff. You never wanna walk away from the stove. Come over here, give it a little stir, say hi to it. And then let it keep it going on its way. Okay. So I'm happy in there. That, that looks good. I love mushrooms. So this would pair well with chicken or pork or even fish. So it's very easy, it's very fast. And that's kind of why I like doing the, you know, it's not hugely offensive. It's not like it's, you know, ramen noodles or anything like that. It's, um, it's healthy for you. It's wild rice. It's not like it's that enhanced or enriched, already, already ate for you type of food. <laughs> so with it's, that being said, <laughs> yeah, it's not pre chewed noodles. It's pretty healthy <laughs> for you. It doesn't take very long and it pairs well with other things that also don't take very long. And honestly, if you wanted to, when you get to this stage, if you make a small, oh, here, it, if you make a small, like, chopped chicken, mm -hmm. you can put that right in there now with probably like an extra quarter cup of water, and you should be fine. So you could make, it could be like a one meal pot. It could. Yeah. I prefer mine to not be in there with it, though. Yeah, but, I mean, if you're in a rush, you don't have to less clean up, you could do that. Yeah. So, after this gets done, we'll be back, let you see what it looks like. All right, we're back. Rice is done. Let's take a look. Yeah, here we go. So, 20 minutes later, this is what you have. Mushroom and long grain wild rice. That really does look good. It does. So let's go ahead and bring it on over and we'll plate it. We'll plate it right next to another dish that we made. Our um, summer zucchini. Yeah, I, I love zucchini. There you go. I like plain rice. You know, not Plain Jane, but not, you know, overbearing. So, guys, if you like the um, SOS, a, uh, what, would that, you can't be the assistant. All right, if you like my wife being here cooking for you, just let me know. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and by the way, guys, get in the kitchen. Keep cooking. Have a nice one, guys.